So GameStop stock is getting ready for a massive move and AMC stock is going to follow it this week. But before I do get into why I believe that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC and GME stock every single day. So on Friday, AMC did close at $4.82. So it closed at $4.82 two days in a row just moving flat. Well, GameStop has had this move on Thursday and Friday. It was up 8% each day. And as of right now, overnight has already started and GameStop is up over 3% trading at $24. So it is looking like it's about to have a massive move tomorrow. Now, none of this is financial advice. I'm not telling anyone to buy, sell, or hold, but the volume on GameStop has picked up like crazy. For the past two to three weeks, every single day, there was only three to four million shares traded of GameStop per day. On Thursday, there was over 10 million shares traded. And on Friday, there was over 15 million shares traded. I am really expecting the volume to keep rising. I wouldn't be surprised if there's over 20 million shares traded tomorrow on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It is going to be huge for GameStop. And I really do believe AMC is getting ready to follow GameStop. This is exactly what happened back in May when the stock shot up like crazy on May 13th and May 14th. First, GameStop rose like crazy. GameStop went from $10 to $17 and was up over 70%. While AMC was still trading at $2.90, it was trading flat while GameStop was up 70%. I believe the same exact thing is playing out and we are getting ready for the third run. And I really do believe AMC is going to start following GameStop as of tomorrow. This is just my prediction. Obviously, anything could freaking happen. But yeah, just my prediction for AMC and GME stock. I believe they're both going to rise this week. We have really just been waiting for the volume to pick up on GameStop. And now it is happening right before our eyes. So this is the time to look at GameStop and AMC stock. It is about to go crazy this week. It is September. Earnings is about to come out next week on September 10th. So that is going to be huge for GameStop. I believe they're going to announce something amazing. And I wouldn't be surprised if GameStop is trading up over 100% by sometime next week, sometime this month, possibly. The hype is building back up. And if Roaring Kitty comes back, he's about to hit 1 million subscribers. If he comes back and says he holds GameStop, that is just simply going to send GameStop to the freaking moon. It literally closed at what his average price was at. I believe it was at $23.41. So this is going to be freaking a huge week for GameStop and AMC stock. So this guy said, ape reminder, there wouldn't still be all this AMC FUD if AMC was actually going bankrupt. There would just be silence. They FUD because they are trapped in some very, very underwater short positions. And box office is about to go boom. So the box office is only going to keep going up. Q3 of 2024 is possibly going to be the best Q3 ever in all of history. And it's going to be huge for AMC. I believe that news is going to simply send AMC stock to the moon. That doesn't make sense that a company like AMC that is recovering from a terrible place that they were in the past couple of years, they're finally recovering. And the stock is trading at an all-time low. So I really am expecting AMC stock to rise from where it's at right now. That's why I've personally been loading up at $5. And I have basically 99% of everything in AMC stock. That is how much I believe in this play. And if it does go down 5%, if it goes down 10%, I'm not crying. Because I'm not trying to sell anytime soon. I am holding for the MOAS. That is just freaking it. I am holding for the MOAS. This guy said GME very very bullish so the most recent candle on gamestop is a hammer candlestick so the hammer is a bullish reversal candlestick that appears at the end of a downtrend it has a small body at the top and a long wick below so that is exactly what we see when we take a look at the candlesticks for gamestop a hammer candle has formed for GameStop, and it can be getting ready to explode back past $50. I really would not doubt it. What I would do right now is load up in $5 call options and $25 call options for GameStop if you want to take the risk. Obviously, it is definitely risky, so that's why it's not financial advice. You guys do your own research before investing into any stock, but if I had a million dollars right now, I would put $500,000 on AMC $5 calls and $500,000 on GME $25 calls. That is just what I would do. I wouldn't buy a house. I wouldn't freaking do anything else because it's not every freaking day when the best trader in history comes out and says, oh yeah, I have $250 million in one stock. I like the stock and it's looking bullish. That never happens. So we can be reliving history in 2021, except I believe 2024 this year can be even bigger. That is all I got to say. That is my opinion on what is going on right now.
This guy said, breaking news, GME. So Citadel is now named in a RICO lawsuit in Georgia, along with many other shorts due to defamation. These short firms are the reason why GME and AMC, along with many others, aren't worth 10 to 20 times their current worth. The short squeeze is incoming for GME. So Citadel is now named in a RICO lawsuit in Georgia. Ken Griffin, this sick bastard, is going to burn in hell. Looking like he's just getting screwed. I mean, that's how it looks like. He looks like he's a stressed guy that's about to get screwed by the apes. That's exactly what's going to happen. So this is the 30-day option premium chart for GME. Friday's 5 million in net call premium is the most we have seen in a while by a lot. Almost 3 million in net call premium on Thursday too. Let's freaking go. So people are getting ready for this massive move. The volume is picking up. I mean, everything is just happening as we speak. Overnight trading is already open and GameStop already hit $24, guys. It is happening before I freaking eyes. I made this post on Twitter. If you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure to go follow me. My username is Mikey's underscore money. I said the GME and AMC MOAS is close. Do you have your moon tickets locked in? So me personally, I do have everything in AMC. That's just how I'm playing it. I love GameStop equally as well, but at the end of the day, I do believe AMC has a lot of potential as well as GameStop. And when one runs, they both run. I mean, you guys should know this by now. If you don't believe in that, I mean, I don't know what to freaking tell you. It's just the truth. It's just the honest truth. So yeah, I'm really excited that GameStop is running and I really am anticipating AMC stock to follow over the next couple of days. This guy said, end of the month over $2.1 billion, exactly where we had estimated. AMC will be profitable in Q3. So, so far in Q3, the box office has made over $2.1 billion, and there's still a couple of weeks to go in Q3. We still got a concert film coming up, the Usher concert film. We still got Beetlejuice coming out and other movies coming out. So, it is possible that Q3 can be the best Q3 ever. Last year, the box office made $2.6 billion, but the years before that, it has been terrible. It's been terrible with more movies being released than right now. So AMC can potentially make $3 billion if we all go to the freaking movies and make a statement, which is going to be huge for AMC stock. I mean, it doesn't make sense for a stock to be trading at all-time lows when it's recovering from a terrible position that it was in. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen over the next couple of days. I mean, it is obvious what's going to happen. In my eyes, I really do believe AMC is about to follow GameStop. And I believe they're both about to have some huge green days. But I will keep you guys updated on what happens with AMC and GME stocks. So make sure to stay tuned on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. As you all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go, come on, push it, buy the dip, buy the dip, here we go.